Hi, this is Chuck Horn with Compass Home Improvement and Remodeling, and we have another thing to go over today. This one involves a, a deck fix. Um, as you can see, if you look down here, there's, I'm standing on a, on a big gap, and also it's, it's, it's where the, the decking raises up and it goes back down right here. Uh, there's a beam underneath here. They have joists come in, and uh, what's happened is the joists have shrunk. And the beam hasn't, and so now we're causing a pyramid, which is a toe kicker and also splinters and creates problems. And there's another one over there. We're going to try to fix these today. Okay, this is the problem. As you can see it here at my level. You can see the big gap underneath the side. It's pyramided up. Here we go. Okay, the problem I was talking about the these are the beams, these are the joists, and you can see here that the, the joist is lower than the, the beam. And so we're what we and we have a a fan a, a privacy fence on top of the deck. So rather than take the whole deck off, we got one screw out that's screwed into the deck. We can't get the other screw out. So what we're gonna have to do is cut across just like here to cut this screw. But also we can't get to the screws that are holding the deck down onto the the structure. So we're gonna run the sawzall in between right where my finger is and cut these four screws. One, two, three, four. You can't see them, but they're there. And then we can take these out, and then we can address this problem with the, the different problems with height and planing. We have a sawzall with a, a metal cutting blade. This one's going to be a little more tricky. That one? Let's see if we can get this one. Get these out. We've cut them. We're gonna get this one out first, Christopher. If you can go on the other side, son, I'm, we'll hit this one out. Take a block. We don't want to damage the the material, so we take a block. We're gonna stay right here and just tap on that. It's bouncing, so that means it tells me it's loose. There's that one. See? Hey, can, I don't know if you can see this, but. We cut the nails and the screw was going through the top of that. Now we're going to see if we can't get to Let's try it. Hey Chris, I need to know what side on the where the screw is at. Is it on more towards this side or the other side? Other side. What? Other side. If you listen, you can tell. I, I can tell when I hit it, and I tell, tell when I went through it. So let's see if we can get this out now. Ready? Yep. Pick it up. Good. Okay. We have height difference here. So we're going to have to shave this down. Because with the deck is in good condition, we just need to get this problem fixed. So we got to pull these nails because we're going to run a planer across here, so we don't want to hit. Also, if you see over here, we have nails sticking up. 
And these are the nails. And see, Christopher is already pulling the nails off of that one. And, uh, and we also got to get as much of this dirt kind of out of here as we can so that we can fix it. But here's the nail, the nail. And then, well, the other problem is, is if some of these, they're the, you don't know, want to look straight down right here. See, the nails are kind of coming out a little bit. We're going to try to reset these nails down here just to make a little. Here's one that's already out, almost all the way out right here. And we're just trying to nail those back in so that get a little more out of the deck. So we use a cat's paw to dig them out. It's called the cat's paw and hammer. And it's made to pull the nails out of stuff, and that's what Christopher's. Every once in a while that kind of thing happens. Thank God we're not 20 feet in the air, huh? So now he's got no doubt with a cast ball. We use a flat bar. Take him out the rest of the way. We dropped the nail down there. It's not going to ever be an issue. We want to pick those up so it's not going to become a problem for somebody else. This thing's just about ready to start cleaning. Okay. Can I turn it off? Hammer. Where my other glove? Okay, we've uh, we've already used a power planer, and uh, you can see down here we've plane this beam down to the tops as best we can of the joists. So when we put the put the uh, the deck boards back on, they should be closer to what, what they were. Which before, if you remember, they were pyramided up. What we were trying to do is bring them down as best we can. So we're just about ready to try to put this back together. Hello, uh, we're back here doing, doing the second beam. We've already done the first one. Let's just show how it turned out here. You can see after it's all put back on, you can't even tell that it was raised. I'm right here, because I'm walking on where we had to shave the beam down. We already put it back together. Now we're over here, going to do this one. If you could just turn around and see, we've already started taking off the, the, the decking. and uh, But you can see how it's farther apart, and also it's raised just slightly right here where the beam is. So we're, gonna, we're taking this one apart. And we're going to shave it down also. So what we're going to do is, as I said before, this is the beam. Here's the joist. There's the decking. And you can see that this is high. The beam is higher than this joist. And this joist. It's pyramiding this. And so this is a privacy fence on the deck. So we're going to cut out, cut the screws so we can pull these out. And we can get to shaving that off. So I can do that right now. Sanded and stained, and it's all level. Working good. And this is Chuck with Compass Home Improvement Remodeling. And if you have any questions or on this project or any other project, please you can email me at chuck at compassremodel.com. Thank you.